Hey guys! Just want to give you an update. This is Nurse Harry and just want to let you know what's going on. First of all, I got a job, finally. It was a per diem job over at the psychiatric facility for nurses. And the reason why I got that job was because that nursing agency that had taken me on I was able to find that job for me and they looked for it for me, which was really nice and convenient. Then I went over there to talk to the employer to make sure everything was on the up and up. And um, I treated it like a real interview. And I think that's what kind of changed everything, you know, because the nurse manager saw that I knew what I was talking about uh, because I have six years of prior experience working in the psych facility. So she immediately took me from just being an um, agency nurse to giving me a full on per diem contract. And which is great because while I'm still taking my nurse practitioner program classes, I can take more shifts or I can, you know, like recede my work shifts and start working on like finals or doing more homework. So I can adjust as necessary. And that's what I love about nursing is that you can just, it's just very flexible and um, there's numerous opportunities. But yeah, it is hard trying to get a job that will pay pay you uh, right off the bat. You know, even though there's a nursing shortage, there's not a nursing shortage per se in large cities because there's a lot of competition. Um, but I am still gonna keep trying and because I want to get to into a new grad program because I just want to be able to have that orientation, new orientee preceptor uh, training that's like minimum 12 weeks long. I think it's a great way to start my career. So I'm still going to try out for that. Um, but this time I'm going to be prepared. So I'm going to make sure that my portfolio, at least two of them, are done and printed ahead of time, not the day before, and that I'm prepared with my interview questions. For example, like, why do I want to be a nurse? Why do I work, want to work in this unit? Why do I want to work for this hospital? And then tell me about a time where you had a conflict or an argument and how did you solve that? You know, like those things I'm going to be prepared for this time. And I will make sure that I take it much more seriously than I did before. So yeah, uh, things are going great. And um, I, I don't feel as worthless or I'm not bashing myself mentally. Um, what I did before. Um, this time, I changed my thinking. Instead of trying to um, fit into only ICU, only critical care, you know, I, I thought, well, you know, I, I kind of messed up my interviews or it just wasn't my time or there's just m much more competition than I was prepared for. So I just changed my mental attitude and started applying for jobs that were more available. And I did find one, like I said, the psychiatric facility job, which was just in time because in my nurse practitioner program, you have to be able to be a working RN before you can start your nursing assessment, advanced nursing assessment class. And if I hadn't had that job um, and proof that I was working as an RN, then I would have to skip that class and then I wouldn't have been able to join my, my current cohort that would have gone on without me and who knows I would have just been held back like two years um, because that's that's the only time the next cohort is going to come back so I was really lucky um, if you pray to God that's that's good too because I, I, I prayed and I'm not a hugely religious guy but I am spiritual and um, you know I just needed a lot of factors to just show me that look you know things might not go the way I want but if I just keep putting my head in the grindstone and um, just trying for whatever or trying something different then um, something will go my way and then I'll just make something out of that so that's it uh, I will try to do another uh, thing about advanced assessment because apparently it's you have to try out for the class um, we did uh, nursing assessments before when I was an undergrad but uh, or pre-licensed, but now, now that we're doing advanced assessment, they want to make sure that you already know what you're talking about. So I'm going to try to do another video on that. But for now, I am chugging my way through working and advanced pharmacology and advanced um, pathophysiology. By the way, uh, those classes aren't inherently hard, but they're very, very fast. So if you're not up to date on your um, um, priority scheduling, then it's gonna bury you alive and I'm not feeling um, overwhelmed yet but I'm getting there so anyway I hope to continue and thanks for watching alright see you later guys bye